For your benefit, Gimp Boy, we got a little surprise party for you.
You're probably wondering how I managed to get my manhunt to look so sexy and clean. Well, don't worry. I'm going to show you how you can do it on your machine, too. Now, the first thing you want to do is open up your manhunt directory wherever you got your game installed. After you've done that, click the links in the description of this video. One is a Nexus link for the manhunt remastered mod, and the other is a game banana link for the manhunt debug menu trainer. Now, once you have both of those downloaded, go ahead and open up the RAR file for the Manhunt Remastered mod. It'll look like this inside. Double click, double click. Then take all these files and drag them over to your Manhunt folder. And boom, you're done. Now your game is going to be looking sexy as fuck. But we're not done yet because if you want your game to look bright like it's daylight in every level, you're going to need that debug menu. Now it's going to be in a folder or a RAR file and what you want to do is just drag that out into another folder somewhere on your PC. Now before you start the game make sure you open up the debug menu first because I've tried opening it up afterwards and it wouldn't work for me for some reason. So yeah if you plan on playing Manhunt and you want to use the debug menu just open up the debug menu first. Now as you can see in order to enable it in game all you got to do is press one on the keyboard and to close it in game all you got to do is press two now if you have a windows 10 or windows 11 system and you can't seem to get manhunt working don't worry i got the fix for that you just want to go here to system now if you can't find this quick enough i found the best way to do it go ahead and hit right mouse go to new shortcut and put in this right here. I'll be leaving this in the uh, description too so that you can use it. Hit next. Now name it whatever you want. We'll just name it uh, data execution shortcut. Hit finish. Bam. Now double click that. Boom. It'll bring you right here so that you never have to try and find it anymore. But yeah, once you're here, just go down to advanced system settings right here at the very top under performance you'll see settings click that hit data execution prevention and then go down to add go to your manhunt folder and make sure you choose the manhunt executable hit open then hit apply ok and boom you're good to go manhunt will be working like a charm on your windows 10 or 11 machines so now let's go ahead and do a quick demonstration of the game looking pretty and also I got to show you guys how to make your game look like it's daytime with the debug menu. 
Now, as you can see, Manhunt Remastered allows you to select your monitor's resolution. All right, let's go ahead and quickly select scene. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's just do this one. All right, let's go down here to where it's super duper dark. All right, right here we can barely see cash, right? Now we're gonna press one. That'll open up our debug menu and use the arrow keys to navigate. Go all the way up to where it says ambient light and then Hit the right arrow and hold it down and go all the way up to anywhere between 80 and 90. That's a sweet spot for me. Now, as you can see, look at that. He was just shrouded in pure darkness, barely visible. And now we can see, see this homie clear as day. Hit two to close down the debug menu and bam. Now it's like you're playing a completely different game. And it looks good as fuck. But yeah, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the quick little tutorials on how to get the game running on your Windows 10 and 11. And also how to use the debug menu to make your game look daylight. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Helps out a lot. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. And hope you guys have a good day, good night. Deuces out your cabooses.